Hi everyone, in this video I'll talk about the characteristics of data. There are four basic characteristics or terms in data. These are mean, median, mode and range. Mean is just sometimes we call this arithmetic mean or average which is this uh, division of sum of sample into the size of the sample or in other words the sum of the number, I mean division of the sum of the numbers into the number of the numbers and the median is the uh, middle number of the data or set and what is uh, the number that uh, appears most in a data and the range is the difference between the smallest and greatest uh, value of the numbers in a, a set or data. To find out all these terms except mean you should arrange the numbers with increasing order from least to the greatest and now I uh, would like to talk specifically about the standard deviation standard deviation is a measure in statistics uh, that defines how the numbers or just pieces of uh, data apart from mean or spread out so here, this one is just uh, the formula of the standard deviation, uh, which uh, means that uh, the differences of the mean. This is the mean, and this is the uh, these are the numbers of the uh, data. Uh, and we need just to sum up the differences of the squares and divide it to the number of them in square root. Actually, you don't need just to know this formula because you, you are not required to. Uh, solve uh, such questions on SAT, but most uh, mostly you can come across uh, on SAT uh, comparing uh, the standard deviations of the data rather than calculating the standard deviation. But here I would like just you pay uh, attention to this point, uh, which is just uh, uh, when we have uh, smaller differences, I mean with the mean we will have smaller standard deviation and when we have greatest difference uh, with number and mean we will have higher standard deviation uh, which means that in that case the numbers are more spread out. Now let's translate the knowledge into the practice. Okay now let's just review this question which is related to standard deviation. So it says uh, in the dot plots above, the four data sets are fundraising totals in dollars for five clubs in Mr. Lee's class. Which data set appears to have the smallest standard deviation? So you see we have here just four clubs and the values are there, uh, which the dots just shows the frequency of, the, of these values. And we can see, I mean when we just look uh, through attentively we can see in uh, club 3 the data are more close to the middle to the mean uh, which means that in the club 3 we will have the smallest standard deviation and if we just redesign the question and if we just uh, let's just assume that question uh, uh, is like just if the question was like uh, uh, Putting them, putting this uh, club standard deviation with uh, increasing order. I mean, what would be our response? And also, uh, you can just uh, redesign the questions with that way in order just to comprehend the topic truly. So, uh, as you see that uh, here in club two, we'll have the greatest standard deviation, and then in club one. They, uh, there will be a, gr a greater st uh, standard deviation and when we just compare club 3 with club 4 you can see in club uh, 4 is also I mean standard deviation is there is also small but not smaller than club 3 so in this uh, table in club 2 uh, there is greatest standard deviation which is uh, the data are more spread out then club one then club four and then club three like from greatest to the least 
and I hope now the standard deviation is more clear for you. If you like this video, you can subscribe our YouTube channel in order to get our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.